you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help me keep a smile for today? I hope the answer is yes, you guys. I'm trying not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go to next today is there is a quicker route to your manifestation. But before I get to run my mouth, let's go and do it. Check out this manifestation, y'all. Then we're going to talk about it. Okay, I pulled that one. And that one says, what? Multi streams of income. And we'll take that all day long. Yes, we will. Listen, there is a quicker route to your manifestation. And the quicker route is the route of Jesus. You're like, what you talking about, girl? Listen carefully. Don't you know that Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days? You say, oh, that's a long time. Not really. Not really. Not really compared to the children of Israel. Now, the children of Israel were in the wilderness for 40, no, not days, not 40 days in a week, for 40 years. 40 years in the wilderness, children of Israel, 40 days in the wilderness, Jesus. Now there's a huge gap, right? 40 days, 40 years, huge gap. You have to ask yourself, what's the difference? What did Jesus do that the children of Israel didn't do? You already know. Jesus was all the way aligned and connected, which means what? God is at the forefront of your life, moving in and through you, that you able to sit within your journal with some clarity. And because Jesus had clarity, he was able to be in his wilderness state the right way, going and growing in the right way, being thankful, being grateful, right? Praying, knowing that word, having God speak to him his truth, and he's standing firm in it right? Therefore, he was growing and learning everything he needed to grow and learn in. Therefore, he was able to fulfill what God wanted him to do in this earth, right? All because he was aligned and connected. Therefore, his wilderness state did not last long at all. However, on the other end, the children of Israel did the exact opposite. They were over there in the wilderness, not all the way aligned and connected. Therefore, they were what? Complaining, forming and worshiping other gods, allowing the mind, body, ego to lead, right? Fulfilling their lust of the flesh. They were all over the place. Therefore, one day turned into 40 years. And then they finally got to where they were supposed to be. Now, if you ask me, what route do I want to take? If I was playing Jeopardy and they asked me that question, well, Sanja, what route would you take to get to your manifestation? Um, I'll take route of Jesus for 100, Alex. That's me in the game show. I'm going to take Jesus route the whole way through. Why? Because I want to get this thing over with. I want to get to my manifestation. I want to get to doing what God has called me to be doing half. The wilderness state is your test. It is. And if you have been waiting a long time to receive, you have to ask yourself, how have you been acting in the wilderness? Have you been acting like Jesus or have you been acting like the children of Israel? Have you been all the way aligned and connected or have you not been aligned and connected at all? That'll answer your question. It will. It will. And here's the thing. When you are over there in your wilderness, whatever your wilderness is right now, if you are over there in your wilderness and you're not taking the route of Jesus and you over there in the route of the children of Israel, guess what? You will take claim. You will take claim in identity to things that are in your wilderness. And that will keep you in a state of being stuck. What am I talking about? Some people in their wilderness, they're claiming their diabetes. And this is how they claim it. My diabetes. I have diabetes. My cancer. I have cancer. I'm poor. I'm this. I'm that. You're identifying with it. And why are you identifying with it? It's because you are not strong enough in your spirit, man, right now. Because you're not taking the route of Jesus. You're not. You are allowing your flesh to claim all this crazy stuff that you see in the wilderness. I'm quite sure when Jesus was in the wilderness, he wasn't a bit more worried about different sounds that were going on around him. He found some beasts and all other kinds of animals going on. And he wasn't a bit more worried about that. Why? Because he knew who had him. It was God. Therefore, he didn't take claim to doubt, to fear of anything of that nature. Why? Because he knew who he was at core, which was God. Therefore, he was in his spirit being. 
the whole time. He was not clinging to his flesh. His flesh had no authority in the wilderness. Isn't that good? Jesus' flesh had no authority in the wilderness, none whatsoever. And that's because he was all the way along the connected. When you're not all the way along the connected, your flesh will have authority in your wilderness. And you will lay claim on things that doesn't belong to you. You will lay claim on, on stuff that's not true about you. When you're talking to God about your heavenly life, you as a spirit being, you can say, God, am I sick? God will say, no, you're not sick. God, am I poor? God will say, no, you're not poor. God, am I, am I lacking anything? God will say, no, you're not lacking anything. But if you are in there and not allowed to connect it, your flesh will take claim of everything that's going on around you, like I said. Your flesh will say, yes, I have cancer. Yes, I have diabetes. Yes, I have this. Yes, I'm poor. Yes, I'm ugly. Yes, I'm dumb. Yes, I'm ignorant. Your flesh will lay claim on a whole lot of stuff. Yes, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. That's your flesh talking. You think your spirit talks like that? Do you really think who you are at core is a dumb, stupid, ignorant, ugly, poor, sick, powerless individual? Do you really believe that? It sounds crazy, right? Because you know it, that ain't true. It's not true. So you have to ask yourself, if those thoughts and those feelings and those things around you have been trying to get you to believe that, then now you know what's talking. It's the lust of the flesh. It wants you stuck so that you can't move forward where God sees you in heaven. I told you your heavenly life is bliss, okay? Your heavenly life is bliss. It's bliss. It is. But you can only see that and grasp that if you are in the spirit like Jesus was, being all the way aligned and connected. Take Jesus' route. Be all the way aligned and connected. And watch, you'll be in that thing. 40 days instead of 40 years. In other words, you'll get through your wilderness state much quicker. You will. I hope y'all got this thing, but if you didn't, hey, rewind and watch again. But if you ask me, I'm taking the route of Jesus all the way, because I'm going to get this thing over with. I got places to be, people to see, and things to get. I'm taking a quicker, quicker route. I am. I hope y'all got it, like I said. But if you did, rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mess with smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Remember, there is a quicker route to your manifestation, and that's the route of Jesus. Talk to y'all soon. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao!